I just got back from Miami this morning. I barely have a voice. I'm tired, but I said I need to shoot this video because today I'm taking out these braids. I keep looking at myself in the camera. Usually I'm supposed to be looking over here. I don't want to Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Naked Junior. For those of you that are new, and if you're not new, welcome back. This is just a quick update. So I told y'all last week, first of all, my voice is gone. Oh, I got spray on me. I barely have a voice. I'm tired, but I said I need to shoot this video because today I'm taking out these braids. I've literally only had them for five days. Only five days, bro. And I know people usually have it in for like two weeks, but I can't. I miss my locks too much. I really like miss them a lot. And this shit is heavy. It's light, but it's heavy. It's heavy because it's like, I guess maybe because I feel like it's weighing on my hair. It just feels very uncomfortable, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with my hair once I take these out. I'm just gonna show you how it is and how my locks look after I've had these box braids in. You guys, it was really good. I got a lot of compliments on this, but I'm ready to take it out. Let me show y'all how it looks front, back, and side. It took like eight hours to do, y'all. Just like regular box braids, even if I didn't have locks. And then you can see some of them, my locks are trying to poke out. Did a real good job at hiding them. It's just so funny when I see videos. I see videos and people are like, their locks are trying to come out of their braids. Our hair does not want to be tamed with other shit. I see how chunky it is. And then it goes like this. And it's only because the thick part is my lock. My locks trying to lock in the lock of the braid. But this was fun. <laughs> I put my hair in a ponytail, it's heavy. If I put it in a bun, it's heavy. I can't do much with it, but then again, they're supposed to be like big chunky braids. And then this one, she had to like use some hair and wrap it around because the locks were like, look bitch, I don't want these on my head. So if you wanna see how that went, I will show y'all once I get back from this event I'm going to. Stay tuned. So this is the hair. I decided to go ahead and take out half. I didn't film it because I literally took a quick, well, I took a nap, so but this is it. It's very dry. But I'm happy I'm taking it out now. This is only like day five, so imagine how it would be in a week or even two weeks. So I'm gonna do the rest and I'll show y'all the rest of my hair after.
guys, this is my hair. I took everything out. Super, super, super dry. Take my glasses off. Super, super, super dry. Oh my God. My hair is dry, but it's also moisturized. When I got my hair braided, she made sure to oil my scalp throughout the entire process. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm exhausted. I'm just tired and a mess. I'm too worried about my hair. But it's dry and it didn't take long to take out at all. I will honestly do this again and I will do it for the time frame that I had it in for, which was five days. <laughs> because, oh, I look, oh. I just swept off my makeup, y'all, because I fell asleep in it and now I just look like a ball headed baby all over my face. I feel like the most important thing we wanted to do any protective style in your hair, even though technically we shouldn't be doing it because of, you know, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But not keeping it in for a long period of time is key. So if my hair is feeling this dry, this crunchy, and I haven't even had it in for a week yet, that means that obviously we shouldn't keep these styles in for that long. And honestly, this five days was good enough for me because I was over it yesterday. I was over it by yesterday. It was just a lot. And I also felt like it was tugging on my root. So I just wanna make sure my roots are still protected and safe. And you know, this part right here was bothering me the whole time. I don't know if it's red, but I need to go in and spray my hair so I can get a lot of the ones that are together loosened up and loosened up so it won't bud accidentally. And I'm not gonna wash my hair because I washed my hair last week and I don't wash my hair that often when it comes to my hair. And I feel like it'll be too soon. And the only reason why I know people wash it is because I have some of this stuck inside. But I got a pretty good job and I got it all out, you know? If I have to wash my hair, then I'll wash my hair. But so far, I don't think I need to. I'll just re-moisturize and wear it curly like this. I'm not getting my retwist till June, so I'm gonna be okay. I don't have any buildup, that's good. A lot of people that get these styles that have some buildup, but I do have some, I think it's dryness or flake, I don't know. But I need to go in and moisturize and I feel like I'll be okay. So yes, that's pretty much it for this video. If you wanna do protective style, do box braids, because I've done it and I only had it for five days and I feel like my hair is very much so okay. But if anything changes after I moisturize it, sprayed and all that good stuff, then I'll let you guys know. But overall, my hair is okay, definitely. So, because I was nervous about it because it being my first time doing anything like that, I do not trust the internet for the most part. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.